Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, 
The infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Although the conceiving of a child and the giving birth to a child is a cause for great joy in a healthy society, in our own demonic society that we have helped to build, now the conception of a child is considered by many to be a disease to be eradicated. Think about that. A child is treated as a disease. I remember when I was in college at Holyoke Community College and debating the issue of abortion with some of my classmates in an ethics course. Uh, And this was exactly the language that they used to justify their actions and their pro-death thoughts. It's no different than an infection. It's no different than a virus. I should have the right to kill it. The difference is, is that a virus is not sentient. A virus doesn't have the capability of knowing and loving and feeling and suffering. The difference is that a virus is not created for the glory of God and a human person is. The difference is is plants, animals, even a virus, do not have a soul which is immortal. When they die, they literally cease to exist. No one's pets will be in heaven. I'm very sorry. But the child, the second the child is conceived and created by God in the womb, has an immortal soul that whether it lives for a second or for a thousand years will one day stand before God and not only receive a judgment, but will cast judgment on those who wronged him or her on the day of judgment. Every person who has voted for or assisted in the sin of abortion, has committed a grave offense. They have committed murder. And they have, like Pharaoh, committed murder against the holy innocents, against those who are defenseless, against those who are the most vulnerable. And it's for this reason why this particular sin offends God the most. The Old Testament makes it clear that God pursues us like a lover. But when we take advantage of the poor and the weak and the defenseless, He pursues us as an avenger. This is important for us to reflect upon. We as Catholics need to do better in defending the dignity of life. To say that human life at the the moment of conception is on par as an issue, as the pseudoscience of climate change is ridiculous. The scientists keep changing their science because it's always changing for them. They don't have a grasp of what is going on. But when it comes to human life, we do know. A brother priest of mine was telling me today, not today, but recently, sorry, that in his parish, his parishioners, a good chunk of them, don't even believe that life begins at the moment of conception. This is what happens when we as Catholics abandon the true worship of God and the instruction of God for a golden calf. This is what happens when we go down the diabolical path of false religion in the form of politics or in the form of pseudo-politeness. The joy that Elizabeth experienced was only possible because of Mary's yes to God. You and I are called to say yes to God in a heroic manner, in a manner that accepts all human life into the world, and even the hardship, if necessary, of helping to raise children who have parents who do not love them or who have lost the ability to provide for them. Not as a state, not as a government, 
but as individuals who bear the name of Christ, as people who are called Christians. We are called to be a voice within the world that when people hear our greeting, they rejoice. And perhaps even the child within their womb will leap for joy. Because with us should always be the presence of God. Trusting in God, we make our petition known to you. begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. 
And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of powers of, and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis. Him and-
and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. O oh, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the Word of the Holy Spirit, through death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me most faithful to your commandments. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are you who have believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled.
the body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that, being subject to your glorious majesty, in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. One amendment to the homily, the Feast of the Holy Innocents is the result of Herod, not Pharaoh, uh, trying to wipe out the children in Bethlehem. I taught a class on Moses last night, so Pharaoh's on the mind. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death.